in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the new adventure and where to get all of the journals. So first thing, you need to Thanks talk to Lorena to at I'm the tavern. Everyone She's I need going to start you on your adventure. Me. He vanished from his usual fishing spot and hasn't been seen since. Maybe it's nothing and he'll turn up with a belly full of grog. But something has me worried. Here, I wrote down the last place he was seen. There might be a clue to where he is now. Merrick's done so much to help us all. If he's missing, we should do everything we can to bring him home. Good hunting, pirate! After talking to Lorena, she's going to set you on your adventure. You're going to go to your ship and you are going to set sail for Steven's spoils. This is going to be the first clue to find on what happened to our old friend, Merrick. Upon arriving, you're going to find the note kind of where Merrick was standing. Once you're there, just walk up to the note, pick it up, and you'll be able to read where you need to go next. So if you read the note, it's going to kind of tell you you need to go to the islands between Shipwreck Bay and Hidden Spring. This is actually K9 on the map. Once you arrive there, you are going to see Belle standing there. Walk up to her, talk to her, and she's going to tell you kind of what happened to our good old friend, Merrick. Ah, we meet again. Let me guess. You're also here hunting for Merrick. Merrick spent his whole life on these waters. I couldn't believe he'd simply disappeared after everything that's happened. So I started my own search. I had so many questions. Why would Merrick suddenly leave his home and family behind? Out here, I found my answers. Believe me, I wish I hadn't. The truth will be difficult to accept. When you're sure you're ready to hear it, return to me, and I'll show you what I discovered here. Well then, it is time you learned what took place here, for better or for worse. Poor Merrick, lured out here alone, only to be attacked and cut down on the sand. I don't know who would want Merrick dead, but I fear this is his final end. If his spirit did not reach the ferry, he will be lost to us consigned to oblivion. The only way to understand all this is to learn the identity of whoever's behind that mask. I suspect this is their journal. It's badly damaged, but along with my lantern, it may lead us to the truth. It won't be easy, but we have to try. I owe Merrick that much. We all do. Upon reading the journal, you're going to find out that you need to go to Wander's Refuge. Now, you're going to need to go to the northern side of the island. There, you're going to see this masked assassin. And this is going to be how the rest of the adventures are. You're going to want to find the rowboat where this masked assassin kind of parked their rowboat and follow the footsteps. Because within the first couple of, you know, minutes or, or seconds or whatever, you're going to find the journal location. So it's very important that you find kind of the starting location. So on Wonders Refuge, it is on the north side. Follow the footsteps and this will lead you to the first journal. Thank you. 
after reading the first journal, you're going to go to Wanda's place. Now, if you don't know where that is, it's in the center of Wander's refuge, and you're going to find an entrance to the cave. Looks like this. Just like with everything, you're going to walk into Wander's... Uh, just like with everything, you're going to walk into Wanda's place follow the footsteps now when you get inside there's going to be a skull that you need to turn uh green is going to demonstrate that for us here it'll open the door and you're gonna walk through Not safe here. Once inside, to you're going to figure out where you need to go next. Patient, sister. Our phantoms are waiting for you. But be sure to conceal my instructions. You must not be followed. Needless to say, I guess staring in the box of Wonder's Secrets lets you talk to people in the Sea of the Damned. I don't know if there's a lore thing behind this. I'm pretty sure there is. I'm going to go to Captain Falcor for that information. Either way, you're going to see that little cinematic and you're going to walk outside of the cave and you're going to see the footsteps leading you into a new direction. Follow these footsteps because this will lead you to the next journal. The journal will be located at some point uh, when you're following the footsteps on the right side here next to a tree. So make sure to get that so you can get all the combinations done uh, for all the deeds done for this adventure. After reading the journal, you're going to continue following the footsteps. It's going to take you to the top of Wander's, uh, Wander's Refuge, and you're going to see that this mass assassin has buried an item. Grab your shovel, dig this item up, and this will add pages to your journal, telling you where you need to go next. So following the clues, you're going to figure out where you need to go. You're going to go to two islands. The first island is going to be Salty Sands. There you're going to see the rowboat. Follow that rowboat along. You're going to find the next journal. And the other island, uh, as far as the clues go, is going to take you to Sailor's Bounty. So in this case, we are at Salty Sands first. We're going to follow these footsteps, and it's going to take you over to the, uh, the next journal journal number three continue to follow the footsteps it'll take you around uh, the island to this spot and you're going to see this order. you help the others find the mystic be sure to bring her to this exact spot after that plays phantoms will spawn go ahead and kill them and then move on to the next island The next island we're going to go to is Sailor's Bounty. Upon finding the rowboat on the center main island, you're going to follow the footsteps. And right away on the right side, you're going to see one of the journals. So make sure to grab that. This should be journal number four.
After reading the journal, continue to follow the footsteps, and this is going to lead you into the center, and there you're going to see another cinematic. Boss said to give this to you. You got our orders. One step closer to freedom, but I still need the conjurer. Rejoin the others, then bring her to this location. After that fades away, more phantoms spawn, but this time after you kill all the phantoms, the last phantom is going to drop a note. Make sure to pick that note up as you will need that in the next part. Now, this new note is going to tell you that you need to go to Cannon Cove. So once it's added to your journal, they're going to talk about bringing the witch to Cannon Cove. So that is where you're going to head next. Once you arrive there, you're going to find again the rowboat. Find that rowboat in the center bay of the island. Follow the footsteps around. And right away on the right, you're going to see the last journal. This is journal number five uh, right here at the campfire. Once you read the journal, continue to follow the footsteps and you are going to see uh, a cinematic here that is going to share a little bit more of the story. The staff is almost complete. Return this crone to Golden Sands and see to it that the weaponsmith receives my message. Oi, oi. On our way. After it fades away, more phantoms are going to spawn, and you're going to want to make sure that you kill them all as they will drop the next tattered uh, journal piece of paper to add your journal. Pick that up, and it's going to tell you that you need to go to Golden Sands. Now head over to Golden Sands and per the clue, you're going to go to the weaponsmith and find this piece of paper uh, right outside of it on the ground. Pick that up and then something that was kind of cool that they added is each of the uh, shopkeepers and the Order of Souls are going to have unique dialogue. So go into the weaponsmith and talk to her and she's going to give you some pretty cool dialogue. And then after that, make sure to stop over at the Order of Souls tent and talk to her as she will also give you some cool, unique dialogue. Get your weapons, etc. Hmm. Come again, I'm here all week. Our time is now. Hmm. May fate guide your hand. You After completing the all of this, Let you're going to go back to Belle, give the journal to her, and mm. she is going yes. to read it, find out everything that you have learned, and then Some come up with a plan you. on what to do next. And this is ah, confronting the masked assassin. A note sent to taunt the weaponsmith, but on the back, a sea dog crest. Whoever Merrick's killer may be, it seems they've been lurking at the sea dog tavern. We need to confront them. But the scepter they forged makes them dangerous. Speak with me again when you're ready to depart. We'll face the one responsible together and make them pay. Good, then let's hurry. Set sail for the Sea Dog Tavern and I'll meet you there. I prefer my own means of conveyance.
so per bell you're gonna head over to the sea dog tavern and it's not in the main tavern area it's actually right out front you're going to see the masked stranger out on a dock go over to her and start the dialogue with her up where they're not wanted. I was sure I couldn't be followed. I suppose I don't need this anymore. I've been a wanted woman ever since DeMarco died. Nobody would believe I had nothing to do with it. I lost everything. You decided Merrick had to pay for your mistakes. Ha! Huh. Merrick's miserable life in exchange for a chance to start over. Somewhere my talents will finally be appreciated. It was an easy choice. Besides, there's still a lot we can learn from him. But you killed him! His soul is lost to us! Not lost. Delivered. To the Dark Brethren. If you have anything to say to him, Sea Hag, now's the time. Merrick! Don't worry about me, Bill. I can hold me, son. I won't show him nothing. Won't you? Time to say goodbye to this dreary old place. Now that I've completed this stuff, we can move between the worlds as we please. You can't hide from me. The Sea of the Damned is my domain. Not for long. Haven't you heard? I always take the winning side. Merrick knows more than he realizes. We can't leave him to the Dark Brethren. I just need to find out where they're keeping him. Not to mention that scepter. Amaranta may think she's won, but this is very far from over. And there you go. That is this adventure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to get all those journals so you can complete all of the deeds. And I will see you guys out on the seas.